Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com uh, Today I'm going to tie a fly for you. This is a Clouser Minnow. Um, just using, starting out with some white thread. Uh, this is a fly designed by someone oh, about two hours from where, I, where our shop is located here uh, in central Pennsylvania around the Harrisburg area. Designed to catch smallmouth on the Susquehanna River but um, it's been used Oh, for years and years to catch everything from smallmouth to trout to bonefish to saltwater fish to whatever you can imagine it's pretty much been caught on this fly we're starting out here with a size 8 2340 Daiichi streamer hook this is a 7x long streamer hook next thing I'm going to put on is a set of dumbbell eyes I'm going to set them on the top of the hook here and uh, it's hard to show you this I'm setting it on the top uh, about a third of the way back and we're just gonna keep crisscrossing this is gonna take a little bit of time to get this on here to get it tight um, you wanna change directions you know do it over both the sides flip-flop direction crisscross um, you're actually you can go under it a little bit to tie it into place it'll as the fly goes on it might roll around just a little bit there you see I tapped it it rolls but you want to get it as tight as you can and you can finish it up here later when you get to tie in some of the hair in and stuff it'll it'll get it down a little bit tighter but you want it as, as tight as you can get it for right now okay the next thing we're gonna put on is some deer hair um, most of this fly is deer hair we're just gonna cover up the hook shank here a little bit back to the bend and this is actually because we're putting the weight on the top of the fly here on the top of the hook when you fish it the weight is going to end up on the bottom so the hook point will actually be on the top and we'll get to that here in a minute as we tie it in but um, for right now we want to put our tail on this fly and we're just going to use a bucktail but I'm also while I'm building the tail up here I'm building up a white body that will match my white tail here in a second. This is a little bit of a time consuming fly but like I said it will catch anything. Alright we're just going to use a natural bucktail. Um, you can let me zoom out here a little bit. Just going to use a natural bucktail. We're going to use off of the white off the back of it. I'm going to trim some of that out. And uh, I'm not gonna stack it to not gonna stack it to get to get it even. You just want it fishy looking. And I want a fairly decent clump. I'm gonna pull the smaller guard hairs out and stuff on it. Uh, just kind of you know pull out from both ends. Get the shorter ones out. It'll help even it up a little bit too. And I want the tail on this fly. Now, about the length of the hook shank, okay? You see there where I'm pinching it at? That's about the length that I want the tail to be. About the same length. We're using a long streamer. Like I said, this is for bigger fish, for smallmouth on the river and that kind of thing. Uh, like I said, real popular bone fish fly. And fish in the flats. Oops. Okay, we're going to wrap this down, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this over the top here. And I'm going to actually wrap over my dumbbell eyes. I'm going to wrap this the whole way up. And kind of tie these eyes in a little bit better, and it'll help whiten up everything down there. So I want a white underbelly on this fly. Okay, and we're going to crisscross over that a couple times too. Okay, now with deer hair, you always want to cut it at an angle. Okay, and the reason, I'm going to show you here in a second, if you cut it at an angle, it'll lay down on your hook and it'll taper towards your hook point. That's why I always cut that at an angle and it makes a nice taper right down. If you, if you cut it flat, 
If you're going to cut it flat on there, your thread will go out and pop right off the end. Where If you cut it at an angle, it tapers down like that. It works real nice for wrapping it down. Okay, we're going to just cover this up just a little bit more. You know, tighten that eye in there. You see now it, it's it's not it's twisting the hook to do it. Um, you're not, you, we got it pretty tight there now, like I want it. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip the hook upside down in our vise. We're going to tie from the bottom side of the hook now. And I'm going to try to keep my try to keep my tail out of the way here and let me pan down on the video for you there. I'm going to push this back to the side here so I can see how long this is. This is going to be a reference point here for me in a minute. Okay, the next thing we're going to tie on I'm going to get back behind the eye here first. Next thing we're going to tie on is some uh, crystal flash. I'm using a rainbow color. I use this for a lot of flies. And like I said, I wanted to see where my tail was, use that as a reference point. I'm going to use this to make it the same size, the same length as my tail. I'm just going to make a couple wraps here. And then, uh, actually, I'm going to wrap this up in front of the eye just real quick. couple wraps in front and then I'm going to pull it back over I'm going to double it up I got I don't know probably eight or so strands there no more than no more than eight or ten strands okay I don't want to go the whole way back on this I want to go about halfway back and then I'm gonna cover up my crystal flash here on the top don't have to be real particular with it because you're gonna cover it up with some front with some more uh, deer hide here in a second. Okay, then we're going to come back and uh, take our crystal flash, trim it all about the same length. Okay, that's going to be like the rib inner fly, the lateral line, I guess you would say. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a piece of sh some chartreuse deer hair. This is going to be the, the back on my fly. And uh, I'm not going to use a lot of this, just enough to to make the color on the sh nice chartreuse color. And trim some of this off here. Okay, now just like with the other deer hair, I'm going to take and tr pull out all the short ones. Um, get them kind of the same length, but I'm not going to take the time to hair stack it. And then I'm going to set this down on top of on top of the fly here and get it about the same length as the as the tail and we're gonna come in and soft loop this down now with this deer hair you wanna make it a soft loop if you do if you don't you see the tighter I pull it the more it's gonna stand up okay so I'm just gonna come in soft loop it down get it where I want it and get it and make sure it stays on top and then I'm gonna come out and Soft loop it over the eyes, get it out in front here. Make a couple wraps. Okay, now, like I said earlier, we're going to take and we're going to cut this in an angle. I'm going to lift it up, try to get my fingers out of the way so you can see, and I'm going to cut. You see how I'm pulling it straight up so when it falls down it's actually going to be cut in an angle. You can see there the nice angle to it. Okay, like I said earlier, that's going to make a nice tapered head. I want to wrap it down lightly first because even though it's short like that, it'll still flare out because it's deer hair, it's a natural tendency, that's what it's going to do. And then once I get it down tight, I mean once I get it nice and where I want it, where all the tips are tapered down, then I'll come back in and I'm going to wrap it real tight. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to wrap my head, cover my head up nice. Cover around the eyes, make a nice covered head. And uh, like I said, just keep crisscrossing back and forth like we did earlier. Changing directions so you can cover more area. And then once you get it where you like it, I'm just gonna neaten up the head here. 
and whip finish it off. And that's all that's to the Clouser Minnow. Come back in and whip finish. Like I said, don't be afraid to try this anywhere. Um, it's caught all kinds of fish on it. One of the most popular flies out there. Okay, and there you have it. A little bit better look at the Clouser Minnow. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put a link on the videos now for you so it's easier to do. Uh, don't forget, if you like what you're seeing, check us out on Facebook and like us. And also, please look us up on the internet at wholesingersflyshop.com for all your fly tying needs. Thanks again for watching.